In semi-arid Africa, rainfall runoff can be turned into a productive resource through water harvesting. In Burkina Faso, stone lines on the contour slow down runoff. But when combined with Zai planting pits, the system is doubly effective. Based on a tradition, but improved by farmers and field agents, these wide and deep planting pits can be used on their own, or even better, together with other measures. But in all cases, they act the same way. Capturing water runoff that flows over the surface. Zai are dug by hand with a hoe. They're usually around 25 centimeters in diameter, about 20 centimeters deep, and spaced 90 centimeters apart in each direction. Excavated soil is placed downslope of the hole. Composted manure is precision placed in the zai before millet or sorghum is sown. So when it rains, both moisture and fertility are concentrated exactly where they are required. Ali Wadrogo was amongst the pioneers of these improved zai, and Salif, his son, has taken over where his father left off. The benefits of zai are numerous. We put compost and organic manure into the zai. This allows us to make best use of them. We grow cereals and cow peas, and the crop residues provide forage for the animals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Salif, like others, appreciates how supplementing the zai with stone lines means that fertility isn't just added through manure, but by the action of the lines slowing down the runoff, which encourages rich sediment to settle in the zai. In this area, cereal yields are said to have improved from a quarter of a tonne per hectare to more than double that. Thanks to the triple combination of stone lines, zai, and composted manure. Naturally, the benefits vary from season to season, but which family invests three decades of effort in a system that doesn't pay back? Amado Kindo is another smallholder who's convinced. Despite being disabled, he's a skillful and industrious farmer. Amado has brought barren terrain, or zipele as it's known in Burkina Faso, into cultivation. Desertification has been effectively reversed by a hoe, runoff capturing holes and manure. As well as crops, Amado nurtures tree seedlings that have germinated in his zai. He carefully prunes balanites and acacia trees and uses the trimmings for mulch. Another innovative farmer, Burema Wadrogo, is trying out semi-mechanization of zai to reduce labor input. A horse-drawn ripper opens lines and then a modified rake is dragged at right angles to mark out the sites for the zai. Finally, the pits are dug in the loosened earth and manured. But planting pits are not only used in Burkina Faso. Neighboring Niger also had traditional pits called tassa. Malam Ali was amongst a farmer's delegation that visited Burkina Faso in the 1980s. This was part of the farmer-to-farmer -farmer extension strategy embraced by an early project. They learned improved techniques for reclaiming land, and Malam Ali began to implement those on his return to Niger. The difference is as follows. We used to dig the pits in a haphazard fashion. Now we have learned to dig wider pits 
and to make them point upslope to capture water. Once again, this practice of improved planting pits, tassa, together with another water harvesting technique, termed demiloon, has survived and been passed to the next generation. Samela Ali is Malam's son. Who is there who has not reclaimed land like this? I don't know if any such person exists, and if they do, it's because they don't have degraded land. Improved traditional planting pits in the Sahel represent true achievement in terms of a simple, affordable practice that's been widely adopted over the last two decades. Indeed, the name Zai is now so well known, it's become iconic in Africa. It's come to symbolize success like no other water harvesting technology.